Hi, Teresa Ruby with Dakota Micro here. I am going to show you how to install an AgCam kit in your Gleaner Combine. Am I in a Gleaner Combine? Yes. I am. I'm in a Gleaner Combine. Woo! Um, I've been doing uh, Challenger and Massey and Gleaner. So if you go onto the rest of our website, um, there's also another video for the uh, Challenger Massey Combine if you're looking for that one. So I'm in a Gleaner right now. A little bit different, both amazing combines. So what we're going to be doing is there's two options to install an ag cam um, viewing in a combine, this particular combine. You can either view it on the C2100 monitor or you can view it on an ag cam 9 inch quad monitor, which is this little bad boy. So first thing we need to do is find the connection point. So in this particular um, piece of equipment, it's, there's a round grommet way up here and it's behind there. The bad part about this is you got to take this piece off and there's a lot of little things attached to it. This monitor is attached to it, the shelf is attached to it. You go ahead, you're going to need to bring those items down and take this off. There's, I think once you detach those two pieces, there's two bolt, there's two um, Phillips screws right there. You take those off and it'll come down and you will find a connection up there that will be the mate to this. It is a Deutsch Quick Connect connector and it'll, it'll be the mate to the other half of this. So that's what you're looking for up there. If, either way when you pull it out, just go ahead and pull it out this, um, this grommet hole and then go ahead and put this all back together. Put Humpty Dumpty back together again and we got our connector coming out here. So the next step, if you're going to be viewing video on the C2100 monitor, you're going to need this adapter. This is the adapter that goes from the one up there in your headliner to the back of the C2100 monitor. It is a USB with a quarter twist lock and it plugs right into the back of this monitor. It's on the rear, like where my hand is here, on the rear left hand side. It just plugs right in nice and easy. That's if you want to view it on the C2100. If you want to view it whoops, on the uh, AgCam 9 inch quad monitor, you're going to need this bracket. It's the one um, that will attach here to this side post. To attach it to this side post, you remove this Phillips head screw right here. It's a 7 30 seconds screw. So you take this one out. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it like this and dry fit it. So we're going to put it right up here. Once you got it lined up with that screw hole, take a pencil, mark this side, go ahead and take it off. With a 7 30 seconds drill bit, go ahead and make a hole where you had marked it. Then you can go ahead and put this back up and mount the bracket. Once the bracket's up, you can go ahead and put your monitor on like this. Comes with a couple of wing bolts. Let's go ahead and Put this on so we can get a little better view of how it's going to look when it's up. And this connects to that same connection point that you pulled through for the C2100. What it is is these, these uh, combines are video ready, which means all the cabs are capable of having these, uh, having these monitors in them. So it would be just like that. So if you were to order a Gleaner Combine video ready. So they're all video capable. If you're going to order them video ready, you're going to need to decide when you order it. Do I want to view my video on an AgCam 9 inch quad monitor or do I want to view video on the C2100? Whatever you choose, if you choose the 9 inch quad monitor, if you order video ready, it'll have all this already installed from the factory right in your cab. If you choose the C2100, it will have this adapter already installed right from the cab. This one I really do recommend getting a video ready because that's kind of a, it's a lot of stuff to take apart. So, all right, so what we're going to do is we are going to go now to the underside of the cab just above the feeder house and I'm going to show you how the video then gets input to be able to be viewed on these two monitors. Um, something I want to make sure not to forget, the 9 inch quad monitor can view four cameras at the same time. So it'll be split screen, so you can do one, two, three, four. You just press this button, you can view two, so side by side, or one at a time. Um, the 
Z2100 only has the ability to view two cameras one at a time. So please keep that in mind. It is a little bit of a, a difference in video viewing capability. Um, let's see, I think that's everything that I got inside of here. Let's go ahead and go underneath the combine and check it out. All right, so I'm under the, uh, actually I'm on top of the feeder house. And um, this one, you're gonna need to go on the left side all the way to the left hand side. Up inside I'm going to go ahead and take the camera so we can go ahead and see all the pretty parts. And what we're going to be looking for inside of here is right there. You see him right here with all these little white pins in it? Let's see if I can get a little better view of this guy. He's kind of hiding. There he is. Right there. And um, you pull all those, those six white pins out. Well, I am not very steady. Pull these six white pins out and that's where this connector will plug right in. So I'm going to go ahead and hand the camera back. Alright, so we're going to pull those six pins out. We plug this end in and then here's the four cameras that can then be run wherever you want on your combine. There's four caps on them. It keeps the connector safe so whatever you're not using those will be capped up. You'll notice that we have the two video inputs that are not available for use on the C2100 are tagged. So video one and two are, will provide video for the C2100. The nine inch uh, quad monitor can view all four. Keep that in mind, very important. If you order um, a video ready cab, it will have this installed uh, underneath the cab. So if you are getting order from the factory, a video ready, combine it will have whatever monitor choice you've decided on and this under cab harness after this there's kits available with cameras and cables that you can run it back to the sieve or the auger or anything else uh, be sure to check out our other training videos on our agcam uh, website specifically dedicated to agco it's agcoagcam.com and uh, there's lots of other stuff there too literature and information on our products thanks <laughs>